Okay, guys. Hi, it's Andresa. I just got done with a wonderful workout. I loved it today. Um, I was the only one in the gym, and so I kind of tested out some machines that I had never done before. And um, well, I'm in my car now, but I'm not. You know what? I don't know why I didn't start the car. I'm like dying. Ugh. Anyways, um, while I get the air running in my car, you know, I might just start. Um, recording more often now that hold on I don't know how loud this is going to rumble if it's a diesel but I might be doing videos oh, Lord. Ugh. okay anywho I might be doing more videos um, more often because now that I remembered or actually found the charger to my little mini cam I can like make videos anywhere and everywhere so you're gonna probably find me in some very unusual or weird places well maybe not anyways um boy I get sidetracked easily Ooh, I'm just pumped <laughs> anyways it was a really good workout um and um I actually jogged on the treadmill it was probably for like a minute maybe a little bit less felt like forever but I actually got up the speed and then I'm like, hey, I'm going to try this. So I started kind of jogging. And um, <laughs> my legs all of a sudden felt really, really, really heavy. <laughs> and I was afraid. I didn't know what to do. I'm like, do I slow down? Do I jump off? <laughs> but I pushed the, the slow down button. And actually, I just held it because I panicked. And it like slowly, kind of fastly went to a complete stop. So then I like, well, there's only one person in there. There's the attendant, um, and she's like just sitting there bored, so I can't tell if she can see me or not. So as soon as it like just dead stopped, I like totally started stretching, like I meant to do that or something, but it was kind of... <laughs> Hello, I'm back. Well, that video that I was just shooting like just abruptly ended because the battery in my <laughs> mini cam just died. The funny thing was it said um, low battery on the screen and then it just shut down. So apparently it only gives you like a one second <laughs> warning. Um, but it's kind of a good thing. I was a little wound up because um, I had a wonderful exercise today. Um, did some machines and stuff that I never do because I really didn't know how to work them. But anyways, um, just kind of wanted to update a little bit. Don't really know about what. Because I've made so many videos that I haven't posted because um, the volume was just all messed up and I'm not really too techy yet with editing and doing voiceovers like I've seen. So that might be something I might play with in the future. But anyways, um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I had lost four pounds. Haven't lost any more, but haven't gained any more either. So I guess that's cool. Um, <clears throat> biggest thing that I'm working on is the exercise. I started the Zumba classes a few weeks ago and I'm loving it. If you see my other video that I posted, I showed a little demo of one of the dances or Zumba routines that um, I learned and um, I'm just loving it. I'm, I'm actually working out regularly. I'm not missing the days um, that I'm saying I'm going and I'm doing faithfully every weekend the Zumba class. And so I'm excited because I don't normally, I start things, but then I don't finish them. So even though I'm not finished yet, I'm just excited that I'm actually doing it. And that's a, that's a key. Find something that you like and stick with it. Just do it. Just say to yourself, I'm going to do it and just do it. Um, because the Zumba classes are only like 45 minutes long. I mean, seriously, 45 minutes a week, I, I think I can handle that, right? Plus that, it's fun, and I enjoy going. So, yeah, I, I, I'm super duper excited about that. Um, and the exercising, not my, not a huge thing, but I did notice a small, like on my thighs, I noticed a little bit of toneness. Is that a word? And so it kind of encourages me. And I think that's what everybody needs. You know, they need to see the results. Um, I'm a huge, I need to see results type of person. And I have found that tiny, 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 tiny little muscle um, 
in my thigh that looks different. So <laughs> that's encouraging me to continue. Um, what else? Gosh, not much else is going on. Um, past few days, I have missed my vitamins. And again, I start things and don't finish them. So that's a huge thing I need to start doing again. Um, but I'm just, I'm, I can't get down on myself because... I got mail. Did you hear that? <laughs> um, I can't get down on myself because I'm doing so well with my exercising that it almost seems like it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to beat myself up on that other stuff um, because I'm doing something that, yeah, I haven't done before. So I'm just I'm trying to keep as positive as possible. Plus that, I have a coworker who is now trying to lose some weight. Well, lose a lot of weight, I should say. Um, and she didn't have surgery or anything like that. And she's doing um, a diet plan or, or some kind of plan. It's like Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig and stuff like that. But it's not. It's something else. So she's on the road to, you know, trying to lose some weight. And it's funny because I catch myself giving her tips and giving her encouragement that I should probably be taking in myself but I never think of it that way or never thought of it that way and today it kind of hit me um, because she's going out of town and she's nervous because she's like I'm going on out of town I'm gonna be in a hotel they're gonna have yummy food I'm gonna be with other people um, who are gonna be eating you know this yummy food and one of the tips I gave her is just remember, even if you're like with a group of people and you're out to dinner, you know, say like it's a prefixed, you know, three course meal, four course meal or whatever. And then, you know, this, the dessert comes. You can always ask, no matter how fine dining or how low dining it is, you can always ask them to bring you a substitute. I know, um, I don't go out, um, you know, fine dining, sorry. Fine di I said sorry to the chair. <laughs> um, I don't go out very often, but when I do, um, if I even choose to have dessert, which I normally don't, and it's totally fine with me, I, I don't eat sugar, so it doesn't bother me. But if I am craving something sweet, I'll ask them if like they can just cut me up a banana or if they have any fruits or anything like that, because I can have natural sugar. Um, last um, Christmas, a um, holiday party, they had a prefixed menu. And it was really cool because I asked if they had any just, you know, plain, you know, fruit. And they brought me out my own special tray or plate and they had arranged, you know, all of the fruit just really, you know, elegantly or, you know, just really cute. So, you know, you can always find substitutes somewhere and just keep remembering why you're doing this, you know, and Find a buddy, find somebody that you, in that moment that you're about to do something that you know you're about to eat something you know you're not supposed to, text that person, call that person, and just like get over that moment. See if that works. I mean, I know like some people say, you know, I don't want to have to use tricks. I don't want to have to use, I just want to be able to do it. You have to start somewhere, you know, and I'm kind of starting to, I don't know. I'm starting to use YouTube. I'm using friends and coworkers to just kind of talk things out. And the more you talk about it, the more like it makes more sense. Um, and plus that you don't want to have to go to the people and say, oh, well, this is what I did. This is what I ate. And I felt horrible afterwards because we always do because <clears throat> that's what we do. Um, but just, just keep trying. It, and even if you fail and you fail hard and you go off and do your own thing for a long time, you can always go back to it because you know you can do it. Um, even if you do it for a day or two days or a week or a month or a year, just go back to that point. Okay, example. I, I'm sorry if I'm rambling on, guys. Um, today, like I said, my coworker, she had been on this um, diet plan that she's on right now. She was on it before and she said that she lost 40 pounds on it. And then she said, you know, she started school, school got in the way, she started a new job, she was too busy. I mean, literally, within five minutes, she had every excuse in the book why she stopped doing, you know, doing good and eating healthy and right. 
Um, and she even said herself that, you know, they were all excuses and she knew it. But now I hear her talking to other people and she says, you know, I know I can do it because I lost 40 pounds before. So today, and I don't know if this sounds, I don't know, she didn't really respond. So I don't know <laughs> if it made sense to her. But I told her to remember, say to yourself, I know I can at least lose 40 pounds because I've done it before. Okay. Then when she hits that 40 pound mark, start over, start from scratch. Say, you know what? At, from this point, I know I can lose 40 pounds because I did it before. And then if she reaches her goal again, 40 pounds, start all over. You know, I know I can lose 40 pounds because I did it before. And before you know it, she's going to be down to her goal weight. And um, I, I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. And, you know, maybe that will make sense to somebody. And, you know, if you've lost weight before, remember how much weight you lost before, whether it's five pounds, 10 pounds, whatever. And say to yourself, I know I can lose five pounds because I've done it before. Get to that point. Start over. I know I can lose five pounds because I've done it before. You know, you never know. It might work for somebody out there. Um, I don't know. <laughs> my dogs. I'm so sorry. I have to show you my dogs. Let's see. They're like completely like, Jackson, come here. They're, they're making me lose concentration. This is, oh, Lord have mercy. I don't like dog. Like, come here, Jackson. Can you see them? There's Jackson. He's a puppy. He's like a year, maybe. That's Jackson. Say hi, Jackson. And then, so there's Jackson. Ginger! Ginger! Really? Ginger! Go back to where I was. Um, gosh, how long is this? 10 minutes already? Wow. So I guess I've rambled on enough. Um, didn't really kind of do any updates. I think I just rambled. But um, let's see, do I have any goals for this week? Oh, I do. I am, where is it? I have a lot of addictions, but this is a big one. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Larbar? Larbar? Anyways, the peanut butter cookie one. All it has in it, it's got three ingredients. Four, the three ingredients. Dates, peanuts, and sea salt. That's it. Dates, can you see? Dates, peanuts, and sea salt. But when I eat these daily, I eat two at a time. I don't know why, because I'm full after one. I think it's because I am so addicted to chewing, like after eating one, because it's not even like full, like a, I can fold it. So that's how big it is. It's not big at all. Um, I think I need to chew longer. Does that make sense? I need to chew longer. And so I eat two. And after eating two, I, I do feel yucky because it's just too much. So I think one of my goals this week, one, huh? my only goal this week, well, no, I'm sorry. One of my goals, because I'm going to keep exercising. I'm going to try to eat one of these at a time because eating two at a time, I'm eating, let's see, two, four, six, eight. I could easily eat eight to 12 a day. Gosh, I go from McDonald's to these. I don't know what's worse. And I'm still learning nutritional facts, but um, so I don't know how good or bad, but it's 200 calories. And a lady at the store, she was curious about them and she looked at something. I don't know if it's, um, I don't know what she looked at, but she said it was equivalent to um, one meal. So I'm not, I forget now, I'm trying to find it. I don't know what she looked at. Cause it's a hundred, no. I don't know. I don't know what she looked at, but she said it's equal to one meal. So if I'm eating two of these at a time, huh, maybe that's why I'm gaining weight. Anyways, so my goal this week is to eat one at a time. I may still eat eight a day, but that's okay. <laughs> I, 
I'm not gonna stretch myself then. Well, I'd love to stretch myself then. But anyways, so that's my goal. One at a time and continue exercising. I exercise today. My plan is to exercise Wednesday and then Zuma Saturday. So I will update after that. Let's cross our fingers and see what happens. And I really hope I didn't annoy the heck out of everybody with my um, babbling. Have a good one. Bye.